people need to be aware of what it means now that English is used all over the world. My um, view is to think of it in three, as three aspects. One is world Englishes as a discipline, as an area of, uh, of research and study. And another is to think of the phenomenon of world Englishes, that is that in the world today, there are multiple varieties of English and beyond the two that we normally think of, American, British, and um, that these varieties are on a par with the, those two more commonly known Englishes and that now the world is expanding its use of English and its contact with English and that English is now has many different varieties and that we call them Englishes of the world. The third sense is the paradigm that was adopted or was, uh, let me say, not adopted, but actually um, offered by Professor Braj Katru of the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign. And that paradigm or way of looking at the Englishes in the world has become a primary force in pushing research forward in the field, in the discipline. The question of how someone gets interested in a field often is related to their biography. And in my case, it was clearly related to my experiences living and working in Germany for several years. Um, after my time of living there, I came back for beginning my PhD studies. And it so happened that I was accepted at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign, where Professor Kotcher was teaching. In my first semester, I took a course with him, sociolinguistics, and in that he talked about world Englishes in the whole context of sociolinguistics. My project for that course that semester was a paper on English in Germany, and it uses users' manifestations of English in the whole German context. That eventually became my dissertation um, focus, and I looked at English in various contexts. The changes have been considerable. We now have many more people all, all around the world engaged in World English Studies, and we also have people looking at different disciplines or coming from dis different disciplinary directions to consider what it means for English to be so widely spread, so widely used, so widely taught, um, and some of the political implications of that, the social, the educational, as well as the linguistic and the anthropological. We're going to see more um, research being done, especially as English changes, as the internet and other technologies have increased contact with and learning of English. And as these technologies and these resources grow, I think it's going to make a difference in how people not only learn and use English, but how they're going to want to study it and where English is making an impact or where people are taking English and giving it an impact. World English is certainly important for teachers because they come into contact with so many learners, whether they're children, whether they're adults, um, of course university students, college students, students in technology programs. All of them are likely to have an English that is going to be a little bit different or maybe even a lot different from the varieties that at least in the United States or in Great Britain we consider to be the model of English use and usage. Teachers will be making decisions about the competency of students, will be making uh, judgments about the accuracy of students' writing, but if they do so only thinking of one variety of English as the correct variety, they're going to disadvantage um, students who already have another variety and who are quite proficient in it. Therefore, I think it's important for teachers to be mindful or be aware of these differences and that there are different ways of using English and that being accepting of those and still making sure that the students are communicating effectively is um, all part of this.